Welcome back. I'm standing here in front of a 2020 Hyundai Ionic Electric. Yes, it's Hyundai week. <laughs> My last range test and charging test was from the 2020 Hyundai Kona EV. And uh, Hyundai was kind enough to uh, drop off a Ionic EV when they came to pick up the Kona. So uh, excited about this because there's been very few reviews about this car. It's just coming out now. Uh, it's a revised model. Hyundai had been selling the Ionic Electric for a few years, uh, but with a much smaller battery. The original Ionic Electric had a 28 kilowatt hour battery pack. It was EPA range rated at 124 miles per charge. This guy here has a 38.3 kilowatt hour battery pack and it's EPA range rated at 170 miles per charge. Um, but you know, I've been driving it for two days now and every time I fully charge it, the, the range estimator is showing like 190 miles. And the one thing that I have noticed is this car is incredibly efficient. Just driving it around town and uh, running errands and whatnot, I'm averaging way over five miles per kilowatt hour, which is fantastic. Now, I'm not going to average that on this 70 mile an hour highway range test, but this may actually beat the Tesla Model 3 range, highway range test that I did a few weeks back that averaged 4.25 miles per kilowatt hour. So far, that is by far the most efficient uh, car that we've tested here on our 70 mile an hour range tests. This has a good chance of beating that. Uh, you know, the Hyundai, the original Hyundai Ionic Electric, when it came out, it was the most efficient uh, vehicle, electric vehicle by EPA, uh, uh, by the EPA range standards. Uh, then when the Model 3 came out, it dethroned it. Now this is the second generation. It's not expected to be more efficient than the original one because it weighs more, it has a bigger battery. But still, uh, what I've seen so far, it's been incredibly efficient. I can't wait to do this range test and see where we're at. I think for sure it's going to beat four miles per kilowatt hour and no other vehicle that we've tested so far has been better than four miles per kilowatt hour other than the Tesla Model 3. Now the, the drag coefficient on this car is 0.24 which is a, not quite as good as the 0.23 for the Model 3 but it's very close and this form factor it's kind of it is a hatchback but it looks more like a sedan um, that will lend itself to having better highway efficiency at high range, high um, speeds compared to the crossovers and SUVs we've done recently that are much more boxy and aren't as aerodynamic. So that's going to be a good part of why this is going to perform well. So after I top off here at this Electrify America charging station, I'm going to head out to the New Jersey Turnpike, drive up and down the Turnpike until she won't go any further. Pretty good range weather today. It's a little overcast, but it's about 71, 72 degrees. That's excellent. Very little wind. I just checked my wind app. Only five mile an hour wind coming from the east. So it's, it's not going to be a headwind, whether I'm going north or south. I'm going to have a bit of a crosswind. Set the tires to the factory recommended 36 PSI. Uh, I'm going to be driving uh, in uh, just a regular standard driving mode, but that really doesn't matter. On a constant 70 miles an hour, the driving mode that you put the car in really doesn't make a difference. We've had a couple comments on that in the past. What driving mode have you had it in? At a constant speed, the car is, requires a certain amount of energy to push it through the wind at a certain speed. I don't care if it's an Eco Pro, if it's in Sport, if it's in regular mode, really doesn't make a difference. Uh, that the, the, the driving modes make more of a distance when you know, you're know you varying your speed, you're stopping and going, you're accelerating from a start. Uh, that's when they make much bigger difference as far as efficiency. So we're going to head out now, see how far we go. I'm going to stop when we're about 50% and uh, give an update uh, and uh, we'll see we'll see how we we'll see how we're doing and uh, check back then. So checking in a little early. We're actually at 67% battery right now. So we've gone a third of the way and already driven 58 miles. So if that were to hold up, we would be driving close to the EPA range rating uh, at 70 miles an hour. And I don't expect that to happen. Uh, the, my experience with Hyundai, if this is anything like the Kona, uh, when I did the range test, it also started out really strong and from what I drove, 
plus what the estimated range was, it was showing that I would actually beat the heat PA range rating, but that didn't happen. In the second half of the drive, the battery kind of went down a little bit quicker than it did on the first half. I don't know exactly how accurate uh, it is. And uh, I ended up with good results, but um, not as good as it looked like it was gonna be when I was at 50%. I mean, right now at 66%, the car is still showing that we have 122 miles of range after driving 60 miles. So, you know, I know I'm not gonna get 180 miles of range at 70 miles an hour. Nonetheless, we're averaging 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour, and if that holds up, this will be the most efficient car that we've driven on the 70 mile range test. It won't go the furthest. The Model 3 so far has been at about 290 miles, and that averaged 4.25 miles per kilowatt hour, which is currently the most efficient car we've tested at our 70 mile an hour highway range rating. Uh, looks like this is gonna beat that, but we're only a third of the way in, things can change. I've seen the numbers go up and down when I'm doing the range testing. Um, even though I'm on relatively flat ground, uh, you know, it's, it, it depends on how accurate the car's reading and measuring everything. Uh, so we'll check back again later in the uh, trip and see where we're at, maybe when we're about a third of the way left. And, uh, you know, let's see how it holds up. I'm guessing that we're gonna come close to the EPA range rating on this. We won't beat it, but um, I think the 2020 Hyundai Ionic Electric is gonna end up being the most efficient car that we've driven so far at a constant 70 miles an hour. Check back in a bit. Back. So just past 25% battery state of charge and an incredible 128 miles we covered. This thing's gonna get really close to the EPA range rating of 170 miles at a constant 70 miles an hour. I think I'm gonna probably, it looks like we're gonna finish up in between 160 and 170, which is incredible. The, um, the efficiency rate actually now has been bouncing between 4.4 and 4.5. It's gotten a little bit better um, than it was in, for most of the first half of the trip. Um, you know, I'm super impressed with this car. It even drives great, but uh, we're not really reporting on that right now. That'll be in my later full review of the uh, 2020 Hyundai Ionic Electric. But for now, um, my biggest problem is trying to time the right stop at a charging station because when I do these um, range tests, I plot out about how far I think the car is going to go because I have to drive up and down the turnpike in a circle and kind of finish up right where a charging station is going to be and when the battery should be at about zero. Now when a car goes much further than I expect it would like this did, it makes it hard for me because I have to change up and change my circles and drive a little bit differently. So I think I have it so I'm going to be arriving pretty close to zero. Uh, I may have one or two percent battery left in and unfortunately I wouldn't be able to go to the next exit and turn around. I won't make it back because the next exit is going to be at least 10 miles ahead. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Our next check-in is going to be when we're done. Hopefully I get close to zero. I know it'll be under five percent less and we'll just be able to figure out what the total range is if I leave a percentage or two in the battery. Again not ideal. I love to finish up at zero but can't always do that that on these range tests. Check back with you when we're done. All right, back at home. And yes, the 2020 Hyundai Ionic Electric is now officially the most efficient car we've ever tested at a constant 70 miles an hour. Finished up with 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour. And the Hyundai Ionic Electric actually beat its EPA range rating by one mile while driving at a constant 70 miles an hour. Very unusual for electric cars that they actually can go further at a constant 70 miles an hour than their EPA range rating is, but that's what happened here. Well, not exactly. So uh, as I was mentioning earlier, it was very hard to judge exactly where I needed to turn around to time it getting to the charging station just when I hit zero. And I didn't hit it zero, I got it down to 2%. And at 2% battery state of charge, I had driven 167.2 miles. Now, one of the things I was doing while I was doing the range test was writing down how many miles I had driven at in every 10% of the battery increment. So when we were at 90%, I wrote down how far we drove, 80%, 70, so forth and so on. And pretty consistently, 
Every 10% of the battery, I drove between 16 and 17 miles. So for every battery percentage, I was driving 1.66 miles. So if you take the last 2% that was in the battery, add that add the 1.66 miles for each percent, we get a little over three miles. Since I finished up with 167.2, I'm gonna round this off at 171, or one mile more than the 170 mile EPA range rating that the Ionic Electric has. Pretty incredible stuff. Um, you know, I know we have people commenting sometimes that say, well, what did you expect? It's a sedan. Some people said that when we did the Model 3 test, you can't expect it to um, uh, be as, say, inefficient as a big boxy SUV. And we, we, we know that. We don't expect a, uh, say, Audi e-tron to have the same efficiency as a Model 3 does, a sleek, low-slung sedan. Um, but, you know, not all sedan, electric sedans, are as efficient as this. In fact, none of them are. I mean, you look at the, the Honda Clarity Bev. The, 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 the efficiency ratings is nowhere near what it is for the Hyundai Ionic or the Tesla Model 3. So it's not just the aerodynamics. The Hyundai has been known to be very efficient, like Tesla. They're probably the two companies that have the best efficiency of electric vehicles out there today. Uh, so it's, it's not just the shape of the vehicle. There's something in their electronics. It's how they design the cars that makes the cars very efficient vehicles something that I think all manufacturers should strive for so um, we finished up today like I said with 171 miles we have a new uh, efficiency king uh, obviously not a new range king but um, you know to put it into context we did the Nissan Leaf 70 mile range rating and that was the Leaf Plus with a 62 kilowatt hour battery we only went about 190 miles so about two about 20 miles more on a battery that had 62 kilowatt hours versus the Ionic which has 38.3 kilowatt hours so much bigger battery a little more range now as we said the the Leafs shape isn't really conducive to high efficiency but still you know you can only uh, credit the shape of the vehicle so much um, Hyundai definitely has some uh, great engineering in these electric vehicles the Kona also the Kona uh, EV which I did the range rating on last week uh, it's EPA range rated at 258 miles per charge and I was able to go 245 miles uh, on that so I got dangerously close to the EPA range rating on the Kona and nobody could, could really accuse the Kona of being, uh, you know, ex extraordinarily slippery shape like the Ionic, which has a um, drag coefficient of 0.24. Um, as I mentioned earlier, not quite as good as the Model 3s, which is 0.23, but still it's a very slippery shape. So you would expect it to do well in these highway range tests, but this did exceptionally well. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, we'll have another car in a week. I'm not going to say exactly which car I have next week, but I'm sure some of the followers are going to be happy when they find out which car it is. See you then.